I discovered from years and years of cold calling is that the more you lead with your product. So if your pitch has your product, your solution, who you are, when, we're, when you were found, all the different stuff about your company, the lower your chances are of getting into a top tier outlet. Now you might think, well, what do you mean I need to establish my credibility? They need to know all the background about what boards I'm on and you know who is invested in us. That's all great. But I'm actually here to tell you that knowing this difference, this key difference between a product pitch which is leading with your product, your ROI, your story, everything, versus a press pitch, which is very, very, very different than your product pitch. And as founders, it's very hard to make that transition, right? Because you're so, so, so hyper-focused on your product ROI, you're selling your product, you're convincing investors. So a lot of what PR is, at least for me, what I do is helping you transform your product brochure into something that an editor is going to want to do. So I made this pyramid here. So I'm not saying that the goal is only to get into, you know, Wall Street Journal and TechCrunch and Fast Company. You know, there's so many different types of media. There's podcasts, there's radio, there's online blogs, there's industry specific news. All of them are credible. It just depends on what your goals are. So if we look at the top tier, there's a sensibly less of those top tier ones, right? Because there's only maybe a handful of outlets that can reach tens of millions of views that everyone around the world knows about. And then you have more of your media, you know, me medium tier outlets that are like state and local news, your industry leading outlets. And then you have a ton of blogs and, you know, um, outlets that are more specific. So like an AI today or like a, you know, um, convenience store digest or a fitness daily in New York, whatever that is, right? So I'm not saying one's better than the other. I'm just saying that if you want to get into a top tier, if you want to get to the very top that has a reach of tens of millions, you really need to lead with the big idea and step way back from your product ROI. So if you look on the left side, right, the higher you want to go, the, the more top tier you want to pitch, the more you want to step away from your product. So you want to lead with news trends, the big idea, the impact on society and generations, the relevance to jobs, to markets, to things that we care about, right? Maybe you're challenging a belief, you're dispelling a rumor or a myth, or there's some kind of emotional or human data insights that you're, that you're having. Now, if you want to pitch to an industry specific press, which could be also very helpful, especially if you're B2B, right? You want to sell to people who understand your product ROI, then it's fine to lead with your value prop and your specs and features, and you can bring in more of those use cases and customer testimonials, right? So all I'm saying is that the higher tier press you want to get into, the more you got to step away from your actual product.